Hey, comic enthusiasts and pop culture lovers, I'm Ashley. Sup, nerds, I'm Ryan. And together, we are... Couple, Couple of Nerds! Sup, nerds, bright suns. Today, we are going to be talking about something extra special, one of our favorite topics, Star Wars. And not just Star Wars, but... The Mandalorian. This is the way. This is the way. Ha! <laughs> So, we have loved Star Wars for quite a while. In fact, our wedding was Star Wars themed. This is actually what Ryan wore on our wedding. It was it, so hot. It was, because it was in Florida. <laughs> yeah. And actually, even we have special stuff with our wedding bands. It's actually printed with Aravesh. I'll be showing the picture here of our wedding bands. So, today we're going to be talking about the series The Mandalorian. In fact, I know usually if the Night Watch, that's what the main character uh, Din Djarin, he is part of the Night Watch, which means that with his sect of the Mandalorians, they never take off their helmets. That's basically a no-no. Yeah. But for today, we'll have Ryan take off his helmet. Since it is so hot. It is very warm. There you go. Hi. There you go. <laughs> There's your pretty face. Um, so, and not only is it with Din Djarin, but it's also with Grogu, also known as Baby Yoda. He is not Yoda, he is, his name is Grogu. Uh, he's the same race as Yoda, but fun fact, that race doesn't really have a name yet. So the third season of The Mandalorian just came out. It came out on uh, March 1st. Right. On this day, and they'll have new episodes on Disney Plus every Wednesday. If you like sci-fi, you'll like this. If you like westerns, you'll like this. Not just westerns too, but anything that's like Japanese westerns and stuff. Yeah. It's based off of both of those things. Right. And it's fantastic. What did you think so far the man for the Mandalorian series before this new series? What did you think about it? I love it. So for those of you who have not seen the show yet, who have not seen The Mandalorian, it is about a space bounty hunter who is hired to capture this little child. He realizes that he doesn't want to hand this child over to the bad guys because they're going to do bad stuff to him. And he's just a kid. But he does have this code of always getting the job done. So he does turn the kid in, and then he decides, eh, I'm going to go back and rescue him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what have I done? I just, no, I need to go save him. Because with the Mandalorian culture, it's not just being bounty hunters. They have this cool thing that they actually adopt orphans. Mm -hmm. They call them foundlings. And in fact, Din Djarin was also a foundling. So like, with, with each like foundling and Mandalorian, they become a new clan, and then they can grow onto that clan, which is really cool. It's a very feudal system. Why well, they kind of look like samurai? And they like, yeah, they do look like samurai. They're very honorable. They always have a code of honor to work with. And because there's there's a there's a bunch about Mandalorians that you should probably look look up, which is we did too, but there's so much we can't cover it in only four minutes. But the, the kind of the cool thing with Mandalorians is that when they first came out, the first one that we ever got to see is Boba Fett. Yep. And when we actually first saw Boba Fett, it was not in person. It's actually for the Christmas special. He showed up as an animation. But he was so cool at that George Lucas and everyone working on Star Wars wanted to make more guys like him. So they made his father, Jago Fett, who fought Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones. So I believe if you find anything like this really, really fun, or if it sounds like something you would really enjoy, you can absolutely check out all the different series that they have. They even have comic books about Mandalorian and yeah. Star Wars. And Boba Fett. And Boba Fett. There are tons. You can check that out at our local sponsors, Lost Games. Games. And as always, may the Force be with you. This is the way.